Well, hello and welcome again to another podcast. Well, what's on the agenda for today? Well, what I have on the agenda for today is uh, the breaking of a cycle. And I'm not talking about bicycles or motorcycles or any of that, but breaking a cycle, cycles of life need to be broken sometimes. And let me just uh, start out by sharing a scripture out of 2 Corinthians 5. And let's read verses 14 through 21. Then we'll have a little story for you. For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that once one has died for all, Therefore, all have died, and he died for all, that those who live might not uh, longer live for themselves, but for him whom, for their sake, died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, We regard him no longer, thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. This is in Christ God was reconciled, recon, reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusted to us the message of re- reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. God is using us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, to reconcile to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Well, beautiful verses, aren't they? Well, breaking the cycle. And now, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come. The old has gone, and the new is here. Now, let me share this little story. David's first beating came at the hands of his father on his uh, seventh birthday after he accidentally broke a window. He kicked me and punched me, David said. Afterwards, he apologized. He was an abusive alcoholic. And it's a cycle. I'm doing my best to end now. But it took a long time for David to get to this point. Most of his teen years and his 20s were spent in jails or on probation and in and out of addiction treatment centers where he felt like his dreams were entirely dashed. He found hope in a Christ-centered treatment center through the relationship with Jesus. I used to be filled with nothing but despair, David said. Now I'm pushing myself in another direction. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I tell God is that I'm surrendering my will over his, over to him. When he comes to God, we live. When we come to God, our lives shattered. Uh, whether by others' wrongdoing or by our own, God takes our broken hearts and makes them new. If anyone is in Christ, the old has gone and the new is here. Christ loves and life breaks into the cycle of our past, giving us a new future. And it doesn't end there. Throughout our lives, we can find hope and strength 
and what God has done and continues to do for us each and every moment. So God breaks that cycle. You know, and, and we all had a cycle in life before we came to Christ. You know, I was one of those abusive parents. I was an alcoholic. Uh, I did so many things wrong, but I gave my life to Christ. And I had to apologize to my, my children. And, uh, you know, even my children went through problems uh, with addictions. And, uh, you know, the Lord moved not only in my life, but he moved in my family's life. And my children all know the Lord now. And so do I. So does my wife. You know, I think of that that uh, part of Scripture where Paul and Silas were in prison and uh, their chains fell off in the earthquake and uh, the jailer thought they had all escaped and he was going to kill himself. And they cried out to him, do, nice, do thyself no harm. And he fell at uh, their feet and he says, uh, what must I do to be saved? And their reply was to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou in thy household would see salvation. Well, that was true in my life. When I gave my life to the Lord, The uh, my whole house, my children, my wife, my children's children, a lot of them become to, came to know the Lord. Salvation came to my house just like it did the Philippian jailer. And he broke that cycle in my life. And I know that as the story we were reading about David, uh, and God broke that cycle in his life too. Uh, behold, all things become new. God is in the business of uh, transforming lives, changing lives. And he changed my life, and he changes any life that is willing to come to him. And he in no wise will cast you out. That's what the scriptures tell us. Well, I'm going to end my podcast here again, and have a great day. And remember, if you are going through a time in your life where you're trying to break this cycle, God can break it for you. Because he became sin for us that we could become the righteousness of God. Remember that for today. Until next time, have a great day. Lord bless. We'll see you again, Lord willing. Bye for now.